What's good, folks? It's your boy, the Mixed Monster, DJ Coach K here, and welcome to Ask a Real DJ. Now, before we get started, do me and yourself a favor. Like, love, follow, and subscribe to all my social media pages from Facebook to YouTube, if you haven't already. And when subscribing to YouTube, be sure to hit that bell on the side to get reminders of new videos coming out each and every Wednesday. Any other day you get a video from me, consider it a bonus. And now, here's this week's episode of Ask a Real DJ. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Here I am once again, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, the Mix Monster, DJ Coach K. I'm out here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania right now at Shriners Hospital. Well, me personally right now, I'm in the parking lot. My son is here having his, well, normal checkup with his, his spine specialist and all of that because he had a special surgery dealing with his situation of his diagnosis of cerebral palsy. So we travel all the way out to Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, for my son. So the missus and the nurses upstairs with him while they're doing their job. So I figured why not, since I got a little time on my hands, talk with you guys and get ready to talk about those last two commandments of DJ Coach K's personal Ten Commandments for DJs. All right? So, with that being said, let's talk about those real quick and let's put it on the table, man. Let's really put it on the table because we got to talk about these. Number nine started. Oh, man, never abuse the power of the microphone. Hmm. You want to lose a dance floor faster than New York City roaches running when they see the lights come on in somebody's house? Then be that DJ. Yeah, be that DJ who either won't shut up, screaming on the mic, tries to sing every freaking song, and saying things nobody, well, understands. The microphone used properly can make the experience for any crowd, any event, to be a joyful one. When the DJ understands the power behind what he has, okay, or she has, and just uses it properly. The crowd doesn't mind you giving that extra energy. They want these things. They want you to make sure that they are having a good time. But learn the art of just sprinkling the right amount of seasoning over turning what should be a delightful experience to the taste buds into an awful experience. Okay, see, let me give you an understanding. There are those that, you know, they measure by the cup they measure by the spoonful whatever they measure just the right amount that's being told in the direction then you have those that just sprinkles it on like they just throw it on and it's like all right what the heck come on man and this is the the whole issue of djs with the microphone if you abuse it you're abusing the crowd you're abusing your authority you're abusing yourself you're abusing the fact that you have an opportunity to make something special by doing what's right for the crowd and not you trying to be the dj of the djs because you feel like oh i got the mic i got the power and all that stuff stop it never abuse the power of the microphone use it to its advantage and not against you think about that all right, ladies and gentlemen, huh, we're going to talk about well, the last one. Most importantly, when it comes to being a DJ, when I'm talking about the Ten Commandments of being a DJ, all right, is something that a lot of DJs miss. Have fun. Number 10, have fun. Simple. It's not that hard. See, there's no need to be stuck in that Serato face all, you know, that, uh, you, you don't need to be stuck in that all day. The whole Serato face mummy thing stopping all night long. You're so focused on your, you're making sure your transitions are technically sound that you don't even enjoy the moment because you're stuck. Okay? Oh, my goodness. Enjoy the moment for what it's worth sometimes. Too many DJs have no sense of how to just feel the music. 
over just playing the music. And, and here's what I mean. There's nothing wrong with counting the beat. But if you know the song enough, then you know how to get in and out of a song. Why are you sitting there going, one, two, three, four, one. Why are you doing that all day? Sometimes just stop that. You know the, the next song's coming up. You know when to mix it in. You should be able to feel the music, okay? Just have fun with it. You, you know, it's a sad sight. And until a DJ understands that last part, they'll just be a jukebox. You hate the word? No DJ wants to be called a jukebox. But if you're looking like a robot, then call a spade what a spade is. A spade. Okay? You, the DJ, need to relax, relate, release. Don't worry. When I say this, don't worry. Being nervous, guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, that's a part of the game. But experience over the long run will take over. One of, the, one of the things I do when I do my events is when I say have fun, I mean enjoy the moment. Especially when you got the crowd doing what you, you want. And when I say doing what you want is dancing, having a good time, singing along. But don't sit there and you're just scratching, mixing, and not feeling the music for yourself because you're too busy doing other things. How about you do this? Have fun. It's that simple. Have fun. So, that being said, let's rehash these last 10 once again. I, I normally didn't do it in the beginning, but today I just decided to just punch it in the face. Number one, practice. Self-explanatory. Do I need to send Alan Iverson to your house for that one? Number two, know your lane. Hmm. Just stop trying to go in the lanes. You Okay, you don't go driving in the lane that's coming towards you. So why would you do that as a DJ? Think about that. Know the business side of being a DJ. Very important because your success relies on you understanding the business side. Number four, market thyself. All right, then no more of that shy DJ, stop it. No need for it. Number five, play to the crowd and not yourself. All right, All right. we just kind of technically talked about that, dealing with abusing the mic. And my thing with that is this, you got to just play to the crowd because that's who you are there for. So play to the crowd, not yourself. Number six, entertain, engage, excite, my three E's. I don't know how many times I can explain that one. Entertain, engage, excite. That should be self-explanatory for you. Number seven, be a DJ, not a me J. Lose the ego. Number eight, maintain a level of professionalism at all times. Okay, stop drinking on the job. Stop trying to get your bang, bang, bang on. Just do the job. All the other stuff you could do later. Number nine, never abuse the power of the microphone. Number 10, have fun. If you're a DJ and you're not having fun, then you're in the wrong industry. Period. That's all I got to say on that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed all five parts of this series. I hope you enjoyed all 10 of these commandments. Uh, whether you agree or disagree, it's on you. Let me know what you feel about it. All that good stuff, we'll talk about it, all right? Um, next week, I don't know what's coming about yet, but I will get to you, back to you on that, and we'll definitely talk about it our new series or a new installment or whatever we're going to talk about but for now i just hope that the 10 commandments for djs works for you all right it's your boy the mix monster dj coach k saying i'm up i'm out of here see ya we want to be ya salute deuces <laughs>